Hello everybody, you're here with Claro Beauty with your host Claudia Lara. Thank you very much for tuning in and to being here with me and sharing this time together. Blah, 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 blah. Am I going to... <laughs> uh, personal here, right? Intimacy. Woo! Anyhow, thank you for watching. So, we are here uh, finalizing my face uh, makeup for the day. I already did the foundation, the cheeks, the lips. If you want to see those, uh, you can search for my videos. But today we're going to continue with the eyes and that I will be using Victoria Beckham. Now I am using new to my collection items and uh, one of them will be this uh, Victoria Beckham, uh, what do you call this? The iPods or Let's see here, the Lit Lustre. The Lit Lustre that come like this. And speci specifically this new color, which is Honey. Now, um, I own several, so I own four in total. This is three plus the Pink Honey. I have it open here. Uh, I really like them. They're sparkly, obviously, and I don't necessarily go to places where I could actually wear that any longer. I mean, maybe if you wear a night, you know, because they're sparkly, but they're so much fun. They're just fun. Now, the recommended color for me is pink something, pink, uh, pink rose or something like that. I haven't gotten that color because I've been stubborn. <laughs> That's the reality. I guess I'm a little loyal to the Charlotte Tilbury. I have all the pets and I, and they're kind of the pillow talk and all that. Uh, they are different. These are more sparkly. Uh, but that's why I've been holding on of getting that color, which is supposed to be the best in my coloring. Nevertheless, I did get this honey. I was influenced also. Uh, what's her name? This actress from White Lotus. Uh, that has been popping everywhere. I like her. I think her name is Jennifer. I don't remember her last name. I, anyhow, I saw what makeup she was wearing and she was wearing this on her lid. And uh, of course she has very different color than me, but I just love the makeup they did on her. And so I immediately went and get this honey. That was the influence. Anywho, I've been looking at it. I was very curious, not only on that, but also uh, this silk uh, little brick from Victoria Beckham because I own this signature. You can see my review on this one. I haven't reviewed this one, but I did got it. There you go. And I was very surprised. This is very sparkly too. I do like it quite a bit, so I'm going to keep it, but I'm still kind of figuring out how to use it. Right now, I only put like a little bit of one because of the shine in something something and I really like it so it's useful it's useful to have both and they're so small you can really travel with them it's so good so um why was I going with this so in 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 the makeup of her they also use this so I order it and also I've been eyeing it blah 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 but uh the interesting part of my whole playing with Victoria Beckham is that I'm liking this more and more. I'm seeing it more essential for everything, uh, the signature. As if you see my review and everything, I liked it, it was okay. It is too neutral or nude. And just by itself, I had a little hard time of what you do with it. But what I'm finding out with the Lid Lustrous, which we're gonna be doing today, and uh, you need something maybe for the crease, maybe whitening, maybe just mattifying, and also for all her eyeliners, which are beloved. And you can do so much as an eyeshadow with them, but then if you have this one, it kind of helps you to create that, you know, new show. I guess in summary, uh, this one, I find it very useful. We're gonna be using it today since we're gonna be using this Lit Lustre. Okay, all of that for that? Yes, yes, yes. So before I guess I'll put this on my lid, let's at least just what I just described, right? To use on my lid with the signature. The first thing I wanna do is, and I have reviewed this, like I said, I'm gonna just put the little pinkish color, which is this one, in my lid. Just because 
uh, since I apply a little bit of foundation and I'm using the new Clare de Paul Cushion Foundation, um, this kind of prepares my eyelid, takes away that little crease that was created from the foundation. And um, before I apply the lid lustre, and I'll apply a little bit of this, which is not wide enough. It's actually kind of a medium tone. Usually I, I use a lot lighter than my skin to brightening, you know, the surroundings, etc. But this is very, very much my tone. That's this one, not brightening. This one brightens in a little bit just because it's pinkish. But, um, but for what I'm trying to do here, no big deal, right? Actually, the one from the signature, this one will be a little sparkly and lighter, right? But it has little sparks. So let's apply a little bit of that. Let's see if it's even noticeable under my eyebrow. You be the judge. I mean, look at that without and this. It does, it does brighten a little bit, even though you cannot tell through the camera and you cannot tell in person. But those subtleties are the ones that when people see you and they're like, oh, you look so good, and they can't tell really because you look natural. See, I'm putting it in the inner corner. And they're so subtleties. Uh, but those are the ones that make a difference. So I just added those two little dots that if you saw my previous video, I keep talking about there's certain dots in the face that if you do them, you look much better. And if you find them, what are them there for yourself? Obviously for me, hooded eyes, um, definitely the dot there makes my eyes look a little wider. So then bigger, I'm talking subtleties um, and then here obviously kind of lifts it up a tiny little bit <laughs> now right now people are putting a lot of concealer lighter here to lift up your eye but this has sparkles so I wouldn't want to do that if it was like a the radiant concealer or anything radiant but not sparkly I would or matte it, it, it all works but I'm not doing that. Anyhow, so see, having both is useful. Now, right now, this, this is the biggest to the collection. It's called the goal, um, the, uh, da, da, it's goal something. What's the name of it? Uh, Satin Kajal Jewel Liner, Gold Lame, Lame, Gold Lame, or Gold Lame. I don't know, right? this is it, the goal. I did a review on this. Uh, right now, I see it all online. They just fill with gold all over. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to apply the, the Lit Lustre. Well, let me apply just a tiny bit of this brown in my crease. It's not tan, a little more orangey, like I would prefer for my crease. But um, this is what I got, and I just want to emphasize a little bit my crease because that would definitely help. But if you notice, I'm doing it for shade purposes more than shadow purposes. So you see that? That's without, this is with. And, and look, I mean, it just helps to define a little bit or to up a little bit the hoodiness. And again, usually I go for a more tan, so perhaps I could use the bronzer which is a little more in the tan orange. But right now I'm just gonna do that. Look how beautiful. And, and how easy and how little. I mean, we're talking minute. And I'm using Sonia G Hinoki brush, the travel uh, brushes. I've been just loving all of them. She has a set that I haven't purchased. I just purchased the original Hinoki and then the Hinoki pair with this, and I just love them all. I've been considering taking that other Hinoki set, the five, but um, I haven't, I haven't yet. But I travel with this ones, and they do the job for everything. I'll show you in a, a little bit what I took, and it's just like, you got everything there. 
All right. So you see, just shading, just so it looks a little bit more nude, neutral. We're not going for an eye look with this, but just a little shading, shaving. Okay. So the brushes that I was referring to, this is all I took for my trip and it was more than enough. So only this tree for my face. This is for cream, this is for buffing, and this is for everything else. So these three things, perfection. And then for the eyes, all from the sets, they're kind of small, right? This is the only long one, just because I wanted something extra, perhaps for concealer, powder, setting, and things like that. Anyhow, I'm deviating. So we did that. Now let's go with the Lid Lustre Honey. It's a little too gold. Although here is looking copper. Well, let me swatch it. So we go like this. Yeah, it's a very interesting color. It's gold, obviously, but it's not, look at that. Wow, I'm very curious. And again, golds wouldn't be my coloring. But this goal is just interesting. It's not even all gold, because that one really doesn't work for me. But I'm gonna swatch the gold lamy. Now that is gold. Oh my god, they don't even look more yellowish. Do you see the yellowish? Ay oh, Dios mío. Let me make it a little bigger because you see that? This is a little more all gold yellowish. And this one, I don't know. Even though it's called honey, to me has a little more rose. Now I'm very curious about that, the rose one that I'd say is for my coloring, that I've been stubborn about getting it. <laughs> it it'll, I'll probably get it. I mean, who am I kidding, right? But I want to compare before I put it in my, in my eyes, I want to compare it with this chiffon. Is that what it's called? Ay, Dios mío. Blonde. This one is blonde. It looks more white. Let's do this. Oh yeah. Oh, maybe I put too much. That's white, pearly, blonde. So when I hear blonde, I see more yellow, but this one is more pearly. I would have called it like moon or like one of those, right? So we're not wearing that one today. This is more for cooler tones when you're in that mood. And then I have here Miro, which is one of my favorites. It's grayish. We're not going to use this, more metallic. I do have here Chiffon. Let's just do the Chiffon real quick. And um, as you can tell, my channel, <laughs> it doesn't matter how much I want to prepare. Uh, I just go where <laughs> I feel like going. <laughs> That one is very pretty. That one is chiffon. Look at that. Uh, what is, I, I always forget that word. I think it's more tape. Is that what I'm looking for? But that one is pretty. That one looks very pretty with browns also. Um, but it could go with pinks. I like that color. Um, so this is a new one. Let's try it out. They're similar. Similar, but not... This one has a little more... I don't know, because now that I have this with a little more rose in there, or pinkish, this one looks very coppery. But when it was just that one, I felt it had a little more rose gold. Right? Well, the beauty thing, even when I twist my arm look at this this is looking more tan bronzy and then not and this one now looks very coppery right they're just gorgeous imagine if that is in the hand what it does in your eyes as you are in the lighting of every day so let's apply the new one which is the honey now i'm going to apply it with my finger for what i've seen that is the best scenario 
I'm liking this look, but <laughs> I like every stage, you know, it's really, if you just want to put a little bit of makeup, you can, or if you want to be like all done, you can't. Oh my God. I mean, come on. See if I can get close to you. It's subtle. It's subtle, but it's beautiful. Um, so I guess I have to change something I said at the beginning of the sparkles. Yes, it has sparkles. Of course it has sparkles. I'm not saying it doesn't. But the ones I have tried the most is this one and the uh, metal one, the grayish, the blonde and the mirror, this one. Those are as bright as this. So that's what I was referring that, you know, during the day that are a little bit mm, in your face. <laughs> but what I'm finding with these other ones, like this new one, they're very subtle, very wearable. I will wear this during the day for sure. Okay, now I have to order that other rose one recommended for me. All right, well, beautiful, beautiful. Let me apply it on the other side. Right? Okay, so honoring that I don't like to edit Maybe I'll edit this out, maybe I won't. But um, I'm gonna put mascara. Uh, I'm gonna apply the mascara that I've been loving and I don't hear anybody talking about it, which is the Trish McAvoy High Volume Mascara in Jet Black. We're gonna put it together. It's interesting because I just bought, um, and I have to pull it out to use it today, but I just bought the Pat McGrath Fetish Eyes Mascara, and I've said that I love it because I had a sample, and it just went beautiful. I found that the sample worked better than the full size. Why? I don't know. Um, so this is still a great mascara, but I haven't been loving it like I did the sample. It's interesting. Uh, but, you know, I bought it, so I want to use it, but can't compete with my Trish McAvoy. I keep going through it. Uh, so here we go. If you're interested in seeing this, if you would try this, let me know. And by the way, Trish McAvoy, the brand, I even said it's a brand that I own several items and they're all pretty, pretty good, but I don't pull it enough. I mean, I have, couple of favorites from her brand, but um, I don't pull it enough. Now this is one of my favorites. But lately, I keep thinking about her and her brand. I don't know about you. And of course I saw the, I did go researching and I saw the sets that she's been coming out forever that are like a gray buy, comes with a case and everything you need for a full face of makeup. Um, but I've been seeing that she is actually coming out with cream sticks and you can do a bronze blush and highlight with three of her sticks. I've been really wanting to try that. So let me know if you know about them. Um, And if you recommend them or if you would like to see a review on them. All right. So that is the final look. What do you guys think? Hmm? I love it. I just love it. I've been loving Victoria Beckham lately. Just loving it. All right. Um, well, that is it for today. Please subscribe to my channel. If you haven't done so, please ring the bell on the right hand side, which lets you know when I upload new videos and please comment down below and tell me what do you guys think? All right. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.